Hey, 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 what's up champions? Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk about not emotionally investing in the prospect, why it's bad and why it can really make it harder for you to build business if you do that. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well. And of course, if you do get some value from this video, feel free to share it. Maybe somebody else will get some value too. Uh, hey Chelsea, hey Lima, thanks for jumping on guys. So today's topic is why you should not emotionally invest in your prospect. So uh, hey Dina, hey Agla, thanks for jumping on guys. So uh, if I had a pound for every time somebody joined my team and said, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be the rock star, I'm gonna be, you know, the number one person, I'm gonna open five different countries and I'm gonna do this, that and the other, it's gonna be unbelievable. If I had a pound for every time somebody said that when they joined my business, I'd be a millionaire by now. <laughs> so um, the idea here is that um, not everybody who say they will be the rock star will actually become a rock star and not everybody who don't say they will be a rock star will not become a rock star, right? But what you have to train yourself, and I know it's easier said than done, uh, it took me a while, but what you have to develop is a very neutral reaction to when somebody joins your team and to what they say, right? Because I've had people who join the business and go, oh my gosh, I'm going to be rocking this thing. I'm so serious. I really want to make big money. I'm going to do this, that, and the other, you know, and you, they're promising you the world. And two, three days later, that person is not picking up their phone anymore. <laughs> they literally haven't even started and they already quit, right? So most people are great at starting things. Very few people are great at finishing things. Right? And that's why you'll get a lot of people who uh, will start your business, will join your business, but then end up doing nothing or not much, etc. Now, there are strategies and things that we train how to maximize or reduce amount of people that actually quit your business and reduce amount of people that don't do anything, right? There are things you can do as a leader, but it is inevitable that some people will still be like that, right? So, what, what you need to train yourself is to be very neutral. You know, so if this was your pulse, you know, your pulse line going pip, 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 and somebody joins your business, it shouldn't be, oh my gosh, so excited, oh, it's going to be so incredible. And then that person quits, you go, oh my gosh, they quit the business, right? Uh, you know what I mean? Because if you don't train yourself for that, this business is going to be like an emotional roller coaster for you, right? One day you're happy, another day you're super sad. Another day you're happy, another day again you're depressed, right? Because it's just the nature of this business. Network marketing is a people's business. So people join, people quit, people come, people go, people are happy, people are sad, people, you know, are okay, people are arguing, people are fighting, people are whatever, talking behind people's backs and things like that. It's a constant thing. But if you allow it to affect you emotionally by investing yourself emotionally in a person, because I know how easy it is to do, you know, when a new person joins, they're saying all the things you want to hear. They're saying how many people they know and how they tried, you know, done this business before, how they got experience and the knowledge and everything and how they're going to really rock and roll. And you, it's, it's, it's so hard not to emotionally invest and go, oh my gosh, it's going to be so amazing. She said she's going to do this and she said she's going to do that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then that person doesn't do it and you go, oh my gosh, how can I do this thing? You know what I mean? Because you've emotionally invested. It's not because of that person, right? Because that person could have said whatever they wanted to say, right? It's about how you react. You know, so over the years, you know, I've been 10 years in this industry now, you know, 10 years in this business. So now when somebody joins my team and they go, oh my gosh, I'm going to hit the highest level. I'm going to do this, that, and the other, you know, like when I'm speaking to the person, I go, yes, fantastic. I'm so excited for you. It's amazing. Inside, I'm going, yeah, we'll see. Time will show. Yeah, don't get too excited. <laughs> don't get too, you know what I mean? Let the time show. And if that person is truly that serious, if they truly want to achieve, etc., they will, and you will support them and help them, etc. But when you emotionally detach yourself, then it doesn't affect you. You get addicted to the activity of recruiting people, bringing people into the business, training people up, supporting people, etc. 
not addicted to the result. Like, oh, I, I, I sure hope that he, he recruits somebody today. I sure hope that she's going to do some points, right? Because if she doesn't, like, I'm going to be super mad. No, because this way, then you're going to have loads of bad days. You're going to really get emotionally drained. You're really going to get upset, etc. right? So don't do that, right? Take responsibility for your own business. If something happens that you don't like, like some a leader quits your business or uh, somebody, you know, leaves to another company or whatever, right? That should not be a sign for you to go into depression. That should not be a sign for you to go and, you know, uh, cry and be upset about it. That should be a sign for you to go work harder, right? So don't chase them, replace them. If somebody quits your business, instead of being upset and spending energy worrying about it, go, great, I need to recruit another 10 people this week so that I can replace that person's volume. I can replace that person's effort with other people right and grow my business and carry on growing my business and then this way your pulse just goes beep 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 doesn't matter what happens right you don't get affected either way somebody does something awesome you go yeah well done awesome carry on doing the work right <laughs> you know somebody quits and doesn't do anything you go hey sucks but what can you do carry on doing the work right so you don't allow it to take you out of the game right because other people's behavior should not affect what you do other people's Whatever they say should not affect your actions. You know what I mean? Hope this makes sense, guys. <laughs> so that's my topic for today. That's my tip for today. Hope you found it valuable. If you did, feel free to share it. If you share it, do say share it in the comments because I'd love to share. Uh, thank you personally for doing that. And of course, if you'd like to get more trainings uh, that possibly can help you, head over to titaniumsuccess.co.uk forward slash success training. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Love you loads. See you at the top. Bye for now.